Wake up, Shinigami. You're chugging bleach with the only podcast that unlocked your bunkai. Welcome to Chugging Bleach, where we started the filler arc. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Today we're covering episode 64 through 68. Welcome to Chugging Vinegar. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 why the low energy here? We got exciting stuff. Yes. Why aren't my whites white, Bob? Uh, Do you like Die Hard 3? I'm starting to question if this is bleach at all. <laughs> Dan, I thought you'd be more enthusiastic about something just like Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Almost, almost beat for beat the same as the shit with the territory. Yes, yes but insanely bad and <laughs> hey, very don't, long. Don't say that. No one would know that except when Dan looked over at Bob while watching saying, so territories, right? <laughs> There's no way this whole arc is just chapter black, but bad. But unbelievably bad. No, there's no way. And you don't know episodes. that yet. They, you, don't, you don't know that, listener. You don't know that yet. So we gotta, we gotta get. It. <laughs> yeah, we don't. Nobody knows anything yet. Yeah. Uh, feel how? How do people access this show early so they can know? It, yes. Let's focus on that. <laughs> let's focus on something positive, like us getting paid. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, I guess they didn't introduce the host. Uh oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, roll it back. <laughs> sure. Okay. Here we go. Uh. Today we have me, Bob Video Games, the host of the show, <laughs> with Dan Video Games, the uh, first time Bleach watcher. Uh, iconic <laughs> quote uh, from this set of episodes goes here. <laughs> A KZ Excellent from KZExcellent.com. Uh, one of my eyes looks weird animated. Oh, that's, you should get that looked at. Uh, and Mr. Feel for Mr. Field's Wild Ride. I wrote my notes for this so long ago, I no longer have any idea what half my notes mean. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what? Perfect. What? Oh man. <laughs> well, while you figure that out, you can tell us about the Patreon. <laughs> If you would like to give us money, you can go to our Patreon at patreon.com slash gbpodcast. For as little as $5 a month, you get access to many benefits, such as early access to this show and Mondo Cool, our two anime review podcasts, Patreon-exclusive shows like Blessed Blontent Blub, where we watch good movies, and Cursed Content by Committee, where we watch bad movies, and either way, you get to vote on what we do, what horrible movie we watch, or good movie we watch, uh, as well as extended armchair dev pitches, and sometimes gamer premonition premonitions uh, and other bonuses. That's patreon.com slash GB podcast. I'm just going to post some Dan. really good drawings from Dan. these episodes. <laughs> uh, Dan, why are you, why are you posting that? Uh, it's because they're all listening to the, the Patreon pitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, well, anyway, T Dan. tag yourself. I'm soy <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> Uh, you, I, uh, that part was so bad. We paused for like three minutes cackling and Dan's like, let me get up to the TV. I need these pictures. Let me get these shots. <laughs> and I was like, this is as good as it's going to get. And then they proved me wrong with this one. <laughs> 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 what? He's just from Shin Chan. Yeah. I was like, Bob, if you showed this to someone and said, who is this famous anime character? They'd be like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> He doesn't even look like himself. He's just like, hello, I'm guest hosting from a completely different anime. I'm like, is that the Ori Emo guy? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's pretty dire. <sighs> okay, Dan, I know you don't want to and no one should have to listen to it. But can you tell us about what happened in these episodes? <laughs> okay, audience, real quick, just know that I always take good notes. He I does. have five pages of notes. He's typing, like, all the time. Yeah, which is why I'm really glad I got that MacBook, mm -hmm. because, man, that, that other laptop is loud and heavy, and yeah. the keyboard doesn't feel as good. Yeah, this is the first time I uh, watched the anime with them in the house, so I got to see the process, and... He's very attentive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, every every episode has almost a full page of notes, if not more. We never... Except we, 67. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have one thing written in 67, so I'm looking forward to when we get to it. Oh, uh, yeah. That's okay. I took notes for 67. Uh, I think... I think <laughs> what... I think one thing is what 67 deserves, but here, we're gonna, we're gonna bust through this. And up front, guys, let me just say, we appreciate your support. We appreciate you joining us on this endeavor. We appreciate you, uh, you know, financially supporting us. So that way this is a practical endeavor to do on top of all of our other podcasts. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, 
if you haven't watched these five episodes and at some part of you right now is saying you should, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, let's go. Uh, we open with uh, Ichigo's alarm going off in bed. His dad erupts in the window. They wrestle him a bit. Uh, Ichigo leaves marks on him and his sister over breakfast notices that Ichigo got fucking shredded. His sisters then say, yeah, we did all our homework while you were on your trip. Kanonji showed up while you're gone. He's a fucking clown, blah, blah, blah. We then cut to Ichigo at school. He clotheslines Keigo. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was great. Best part of the episode. <laughs> Uh, we then eventually end no. up in the classroom where people go, hey, check it out, Chad and Ichigo got tans. Did you guys go on a summer camp <laughs> or something? And Keigo starts losing his mind as he realizes uh, they went to a summer camp without him. And, 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 and Yeah, he, yeah, he, he turns like, into what? a Yuri Lowenthal character. And Chad's like, how would you know if I got a tan? <laughs> yeah, that's basically how that went. Uh Orihime uh, explains that I believe it was Tatsuki she was talking to. Uh, she spills the beans about everything that happened and no one believes her. And Chad and Ichigo the whole time are having a mild heart attack and go, oh, thank God. Orihime's insane and no one will trust her. <laughs> yes. I, I like that they're consistent with, yeah, Orihime is just crazy right now. This uh -huh. is how she is. <laughs> yeah, no one, no one trusts this babbling bitch. Yes. Uh Renji shows up at the school, starts yelling into the classroom. Ichigo's in. It's uh, insane. Uh, I, I, I wrote here at this point with Renji showing up in the real world and yelling at Ichigo. Uh, this is not too dissimilar to the OVA. Yeah, I know. Yes. That's what killed me. Yeah, it was it was weird. Uh, yeah, he even has a 70s outfit again. Yes. With I bell bottoms. Ichigo screams. Uh runs out of the class saying it's a relative, uh, grabs him, runs him all the way to a bush and dunks him out of there uh, while screaming, are you out of your mind? Then we find out Renji has been put in charge of Karakura. Urahara told him where Ichigo was. Renji has come here because of idiots like Ichigo spraying spirit energy with no control whatsoever. And then, and then a hollow shows up. And then Renji's like, okay, we need to get that hollow. But then Renji gets stuck on his gi guy. Yeah, he like can't get his pants off. Yeah, basically. <laughs> he he yeah. gets stuck in his fly. Um, or <laughs> his powdered toast man gotta show up and help him. <laughs> oh. Powdered toast man, help! <laughs> can't use my vodka. I'm gonna save Kawakura. <laughs> One moment, Renji. Do <laughs> mm. it. Do it! <laughs> Biting down on a brick of wood. <laughs> anyway, uh, so the giant hollow just approaches the school and slowly climbs up it, and then Ichigo leaps in the air and uses his sword, and everyone's like, whew, that's close. We had to help Ichigo if, if he didn't do that. Nah, oh, man, everything's safe now. We cut to Orihime eating ice cream with Makoto, who's Tatsuki, and uh, she gets <laughs> she gets brains freeze, and it's funny. Anyways, Orihime realizes she didn't really feel helpful, you know, in the Soul Society, and she thought she got in the way, but she heard Tatsuki's voice in her mind, and that helped her to try as much, to do as much as she could. The, and then Tatsuki says, hey, you need to feel better about this. The important thing is that you came back safely. I'm not sure that that is actually true, but that is what she tells her to make her feel better. Ichigo catch it. Uh, Ichigo's at his house for uh, not what frame three. His dad <laughs> does a dive kick. <laughs> he catches it. He catches his foot and he makes the funniest fucking face. You know yeah. that there have not been enough bleach fighting games because we don't have Ichigo's dad. That's true. <laughs> That is. I yeah. want an Arxis game where Ichigo's dad is like the the Dan. Yes. Yes. That I'm, would be incredible. I'm sure. I'm sure that Bondi will put out something once the anime comes back. <laughs> so Renji's hanging out with Urahara's crew. He's apparently going to stay there, and everyone just keeps calling him a moocher over dinner. And they're like, "Wow, for a moocher, you're really brave. You're asking for seconds. Wow, you know most moochers wouldn't be uh, confident in asking for seconds, but you're doing it. That's good. Good for good for you. Good for you. Uh, guys. As a poor kid who dated a lot of middle class ladies in high school, uh, uh, this was too real. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the best part of the episode. As I wrote in my notes, Renji being psychologically torn. <laughs> yeah, this is terrible. <laughs> I like the Keysuke is just Owen Wilson now. <laughs> He's like, oh wow, good job. Yeah, good job, Moocher. Oh no, God, they 
They even vaguely look alike. Oh, wow, you want seconds? That's wow. <laughs> Uh, well, we know. Now, we know who uh, we know who Netflix is going to cast for the ne adaptation now. God, I hope. Yeah, that'd be amazing. That would be. Uh, we need to email them right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Get Owen Wilson. Anyone will watch it. <laughs> yes. Everyone will watch it. it. Doesn't matter what you do to the rest of that show. <laughs> no, it really doesn't. <laughs> You could fuck it up entirely. You could even cast that kid who's uh, Nathan Drake as fucking Ichigo, and people would watch it just to see Owen Wilson as Urahara. That's funny. I was going to say, yeah, Gint is just Tom Holland. <laughs> God. He's Ginta? Pizza Gaia, by the way. Uh, <laughs> okay. So this, uh, this toxic scene ends. Uh, we cut to Orihime training on her attack. Casey uh, talks about Scarlet Nexus. I wish he didn't. Uh, <laughs> what? What? Orihime's weapons were shown, and I'm like, that's the exact same as the female protagonist of Scarlet Nexus. <laughs> wow, it's almost like Bleach was an enormously popular series. Yeah, you know, you know what was an enormously popular game? Final Fantasy IV. We'll come back to that later. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we call punting the ball. Anyway, uh, we cut to Ichigo's house. Cone is screaming, I want to see Rukia. I want to see her. I want to see her. I want to see her. And Ichigo goes, go to bed. And he goes, okay. And he passes out. It's a very funny scene. Or he may dreams about her brother. Thinks about Rukia grabbing a BK when he was fucked up. <laughs> and uh, or he may starts crying. What? BK. Or, Rukia's brother, BK. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows BK. His his bond can't happen King. your way. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> now I'm imagining him in like a Burger King visor, and it's really killing me. Oh, it's incredible! See, isn't I, it? see I'm a see, I'm imagining the thing where he turns the sword upside down and it like dissolves. Except it's the king just making that face. That's completely <laughs> dead stone face. Well, that's his helmet. <laughs> Ding! Fries are done. Yes. And bon He parts, starts putting it into the ground. He puts the sword into the ground and chicken fries just start floating everywhere in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, she's she's crying about BK and Rukia's uh, brother love, uh, sibling love, and uh, the doorbell rings, and she's like, who's that? And it's her brother, and it's like, whoa, what's her brother doing here? And then uh, Renji gets the call from the spirit energy on his cell phone. He goes, Moshi Moshi, and runs out the door. Uh, we cut back to Orihime's brother going, uh, uh, I was able to make it as a soul society because of you, and I wasn't I wasn't hurt, uh, and I, I, I won't become a hollow now, uh, and uh, I know you went to the soul society, and she goes, y uh you haven't sh wait okay one second there we go she is worried about him and then he goes you haven't changed one bit you worry about me all the time and she goes no our house is big and i just get lonely and i'm like wow that's kind of fucked up to say <laughs> when we were kids you used to worry about me and she's like no our house is really big so really i was just lonely that's the only reason i cared about you mm. that's some good and writing people in this people in this series uh don't really care about their siblings very much. <laughs> no, it seems evidently not. Uh, Renji is trying to get Ichigo's help instead of directly solving the problem. He's, he goes to Ichigo's house to wake him up. He gets freaked out by Cone, starts swinging him around like a fucking shopping bag, uh, and then rips the uh, soul candy out of his mouth. And he's like, oh, that's really cool. And he's like, don't you know about this stuff? And he goes, yeah, I guess I just forgot. It makes a funny squish noise. I wrote it in my notes. Oh, okay. It goes like... Bwah. It does, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but Renji goes, it's not a strong spiritual pressure, but you can feel it, can't you? And then it cuts to Ichigo's face and does, just, it does a digital snap zoom and Ichigo goes, oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, we cut back. Her brother, or Hime's brother says... Is there something wrong that makes you dream about me? We cut to your Orihime's face and do a digital snap suit. And she goes, oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
and uh there's there's freaky shit going on i guess i don't know every main character feels this energy right now uh, a giant demon door uh made of bones appears in the sky it's really fucking crazy uh it opens the door itself with its bone hands and uh or he disappears into it and then we introduce the dawn of sorrow uh tier t d tier jobbers like if dawn of sorrow had more uh candidates for the uh-huh. throne that 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 would be these guys yep I, I don't know i still think two of them are basically the same level and then they that third one with the top hat is the worst one ever uh, like he would he, not even I know, qualify candid- the candidates for the new dracula are actually for this time <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have REM speed uh, speed uh, cart, <laughs> completely <laughs> original character. Uh, it's it's bad. It's really really bad. Um, and then it's a cliffhanger as Ichigo is like, "Oh my god, they took Orihime!" Wah. Yeah, uh, I'm looking at my notes, and <laughs> the final two notes of the last scene are. Or he may goes to hell, and I'm Doorface. <laughs> oh, that's true. I, <laughs> I did. I did say that. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> God, every one of these episodes, it feels like they all get that Dragon Ball GT disease where they can't move right. Like no one in, <laughs> in this world can at all move like they did la- last episode. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, that was a fair. <laughs> oh, it's like, like you could solve this problem if you did something. If you just no. fly, remember no. you could fly. No, they can't do that. Um. That was that was a fairly normal episode, and then sixty five hits, and we're gone for like five or six minutes. <laughs> this episode was a uh, pretty mid to bad, um, and then the ending starts, and it's brand new. Yeah, and yeah. I, I write some notes. Uh, it's cute dolls dancing, and I'm like, okay, that's that's cool. Look at these cute little dolls. This is, this is neat. You got like a turtle, a bird, a whatever that thing, is. rabbit? Question mark. I think that's what they're going for. I guess Hand turtle, bag. rabbit, bird. Um, I write clearly doesn't know what the show is going to do. It's just cute dolls dancing. All right, sure. They have these designs: uh, turtle, rabbit, bird. Yeah, that's what I wrote. Uh, and they keep showing the blonde villain now, who looks like a third gen Pokemon trainer design. <laughs> <laughs> It hit real strong. I was like, I swear to God, I've seen you in one of these games. And I just started <laughs> searching sprites. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the ending is pretty neat. I actually like it. I like the song that goes with it. It's it's so much better than the episode. And that kind of upsets me. Then we get to the next episode where I'm subjected to the intro again. And I go, Sweet fucking Christ, I have to watch this intro before these episodes. Uh huh. Yeah. It's even better because the first time we watched the intro this time, you had subs on and went, Oh my God, the death metal screaming is in English. Yeah, at the end. It's uh, pretty indecipherable. Yeah, it's really good. Um, but there was a one, th- one thing at the end of the last episode, there was a post credits thing. Where it's uh, Uri, Uriu dresses up Cone in a frilly thing and Cone's furious. And Uriu then fixes him up to look like normal, but the back of his head has a cross on it. Quote, Quincy style. That's it. That's important, though. It is. Yeah. Uh, episode 65 opens up the Soul Society. They say people are missing. The task force is going to be sicked on them. Uh, Ichigo and his friends are talking about what happened. Also, Renji is there. Her friends... Uh, we find out Orihime's friends forgot about her. Something is weird. They're going to check Orihime's apartment. Renji is annoyed because he thought they were supposed to be in class. Uh, and now they're leaving school to go check on that. Renji. Okay. Uriu has a dope song play as he pulls out a needle box at Orihime's door to lock pick it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The lock picking lawyer. Yep. I was like, oh, okay. That's, that's pretty cool. And then, and then Chad says something like, isn't lockpicking illegal? It's like, Chad, you were about to break the door down. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, man? <sighs> Renji then starts eating Orihime's food and a terrible song starts playing. The song sounds like Kazooie is tired. <laughs> and during this, that's when Uryu makes that terrible face I posted earlier. Oh, uh, yeah, it's going... <laughs> Yes, the song is doing that sound. Uh, the villains uh, call them on the phone, and this is when the Die Hard 3 begins. Yeah, yes. I, as I wrote my notes, <laughs> Die Hard 3 for smart people. 
Oh. Okay, that's why there's just a, a note that just says "Die Hard" with no context. <laughs> you couldn't figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, was like, I can't believe this is real. <sighs> so, a uh, blonde girl on the phone realizes they're in Orihime's house. She threatens to call the police on them for breaking and entering. She says she wants to play a game. I want to stop watching. <laughs> It sucks so bad from this point. They go, Renji, can't you figure out who called you? And he goes, anyone could have gotten that number. It's a standard issue sole pager. So they have to run to a certain place in time. They have a uh, running competition. Ichigo's re- yelling at Renji, but since Renji's, you know, not visible to people because he's not in a uh, uh Ichigo just looks more insane than usual. <laughs> they run to the park uh, making the worst faces possible and then the bad guy calls them on the payphone why is this Die Hard 3 they start running again to another payphone but someone else picked it up first and the, vo- the voice on the phone says you failed because someone else picked it up first and then we cut to commercial break as they have a breakdown and then we come back and she calls again and she goes haha fooled you you ready for the third test I'll let you hear your, her voice if you pass the third test. There's more running. We cut to Urahara's shop. <sighs> she calls Urahara's phone. They go, hey, Urahara, can't you like trace this phone call? And then he goes, or, I think it's Chad or him goes, only the police can trace a phone call. Uh, but Urahara <laughs> goes, but I can record it. And then he opens the drawer and he has a phone recorder. He, this was the best part of the episode. <laughs> Uh, almost it leads into the best part of the episode if you ask me um uh so i write the note this is a kanonji episode with stakes it sucks <laughs> <laughs> oh man you wrote some you wrote some really good stuff in there no uh there's a quote here uh i believe this is Urahara saying uh we don't have enough information to go on uh, based on recording this call. But, you know, I don't do this kind of work, so maybe I could be wrong. Anyways, what time are we going to do this tonight? And, uh, yeah, because the uh, caller said, hey, we're going to do this tonight. And they're like, okay, we'll do this tonight. Renji is a moocher joke. Goes here. Uh, there's a shot outside of Orihime's house at night that instantly made me realize territories are going to start happening now. Are you fucking serious? <sighs> I'm serious. This shot is literally identical to the one in the territories arc. Oh, is That's it? what triggered me. Okay. That's what made me realize we're doing that now. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding. Uh, Orihime is there at the door. Of her house. She doesn't remember getting kidnapped. Urahara, meanwhile, his place is running the recording of the blonde girl's voice through a lying test machine. You know, one of those lie detectors. Yes. It doesn't <laughs> make any fucking sense. He's like, oh, I'm checking the voice sample. And I write, this sucks. Um, but this is an important detail to remember for later. Please, please remember this detail that he's running analysis on this on this phone call. Uh huh. While no one else is around, this is happening. Please remember this detail. Thank you. Okay. Oh, he also mentions that it has no Raymon. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's important. I was too busy writing the the note. This sucks. Yeah. Instead of writing. Oh, okay, note. Dan. What's Raymon? Yep. Okay. Uh, he had a sitcom in the nineties. Uh, yes. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody loves Raymond. <laughs> yes, exactly. Good. Everyone remembers that show. Anyways, Urahara has a demon tornado outside brought to his attention by uh, the guy. I can't remember the name of the assistant dude who helps him run the shop. Tall guy? Yeah, man. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't uh, remember either. This episode can't an- animate anything or anyone anymore. Uh, Wait, who? Uh, th- Tessai, that's it. Yeah, Tessai, okay, yeah. Okay, I was, yeah. Yeah, uh, tall guy with glasses. Yep. Uh, this episode can't animate anyone or anything anymore. Or he may go sicko mode. She gets like laser eyes. It's like, what the hell's up with her? Yeah. She leaps on Chad. She's start choking out Chad. It's crazy. Uh, I got super scared here. And I wrote in my notes, is this going to be the Garlic Jr. arc? <laughs> oh, that's dissing that's, that's dis- Garlic Jr. arc way no, too much. No, it's not. 
<laughs> oh yes it is yeah, it five is. fucking episodes fuck that arc five fucking episodes once again to deal with the bad opinions that's, yet again that's what the garlic jr arc is <laughs> no it's cool at least they didn't have a candidate for dracula's throne <laughs> <laughs> yeah they did <laughs> anyways they had worse guys than that <laughs> they did have really bad jobbers i can't even remember <laughs> They were the Spice Boys. Yeah, they and were. All That's they what makes them good. That's fucking hilarious. That arc was that arc was five episodes of them beating up only Krillin until Gohan gets mad enough to kill them. I feel like I would enjoy that more than this. <laughs> uh, I, I also feel that way. We got to move quickly though. So uh, apparently that wasn't really Orihime. It was that dipshit with the top hat. His name is Kuroto. At least I think it is. Uh, who cares i'm pretty sure they said it <laughs> i care there's the cool ninja with the fur coat he shows up and says pleased to meet you they don't even say his name this episode <laughs> anyway they take chad door opens chad goes in no one can do anything for some reason why is this repeating the same bullshit over and over again a uh, blonde girl is sitting on the demon door and laughs she looks like a pokemon gym leader fifth gen i don't know <laughs> uh and then we get our radio cone golden moment it's a rahara shop renji is sneaking he's trying to grab rice and then the red hair kid shoots him with a rubber band and rahara is like ha, 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 ha. that's two episodes of my life gone episode 66 urahara is going to uh watch ichigo's body while he tries to solve the problem someone says do you think aizen is involved i say no <laughs> i just say no out loud at the tv uh <laughs> yeah i think that at some point in the last episode they mentioned yeah eisen got the hogoku but it's gonna take him at least a season to get that f figured out yes that's yes. true yes they literally are like people they should really be concerned with eisen we have to come up with a contrivance so the audience isn't being like why aren't you dealing with eisen why why is it this <laughs> and what a contrivance they came up with very good great job uh we we hear, I believe from Urahara, that the enemy powers are derived by Kido. A direct hit with the Sun Pacto will have little to no effect on them. I don't think this ever comes up again. Uh, yeah, it has to be shit they made up. Then we get a statement of they targeted Chad and Orihime first because they knew they would be the easiest to deal with. And I'm like, have you seen Chad? Yeah, I don't understand how they were able to choke out Chad. Like, that made no sense. You're telling me that Chad's easier to deal with than Udiu in this current state? But Go eat my before ass. Before Chad got superpowers, he ripped a telephone pole off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. And like, hit something with it. Like, Again, Udiu. <laughs> every every single thing that happens to this feels like these characters are no longer themselves and more like GB, Dragon Ball GT. <laughs> Here's how bad this is, Bob. And yeah. I know you're going to disagree. And this was a core part of that show. Uh-huh. You know, GT versus Super. I think you're underselling GT. This sucks. This is worse <laughs> than GT to me right now. Um, but anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna keep going. Uh, <clears throat> blonde girl calls the shops. He says words. I don't hear any of them anymore. I'm blacking out. Um, they packed important tools inside of cone though, like yarn and sewing kit stuff. It's very cool. There's a big building. They go inside a PA speaker inside tells them to leave their weapons at the entrance of the museum in these, uh, display cases, which have labels for their weapons and they misspelled the labels and it's very funny. They enter a generic room. That seems like a chamber uh, with four doors on each side and nothing in it except for tile. And it reminds me of the giant dungeon uh, near the end of Evergrace. <laughs> oh. And at the same time, uh, KZ says, oh, it's generic JRPG dungeon. <laughs> yes. This is uh, really good. Uh, as they enter, though, they realize the entrance disappeared, and the blonde girl goes, ha, 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 you're not doing so well at this rate. You'll never solve the puzzle. And then they go, it's a puzzle. There must be a hint. And then she goes, ha, ha, ha you got it, lol. And, and we, we got we to gotta find the sign posting for this fucking puzzle. The, the game designer must have get, put us a hint somewhere. First things first, everyone look up. Sometimes designers put shit up there. <laughs> <laughs> like you go, like I found like, a jiggy behind us up. <laughs> yeah, no, that'd be Uri. <laughs> that'd be Ishida where he's like, okay, guys, we they, they put things here and they spin the camera and look it up. <laughs> so, uh... God, God. <laughs> 
just imagining Ichigo doing like the banjo dance when they get the jiggy now. Goha? Goha? Do 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 do. For some reason, instead of a gaha, I just imagined him yell, Kyrie! <laughs> <laughs> same, same characterization. Uh-huh. Uh, so they realize, oh, we should tie the red yarn to this thing in the entrance. So that way we can find our way around. Uh, 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 everything's looping, though, and everything's crazy. And they're like, oh, no, we went right four times and ended up, oh, no, what are we doing? Oh, no, what are we doing? Oh, no, what are we doing? Anyways, they keep wandering. And eventually, they end up in a dark room full of the cases. And, and Chad and Orihime are in these display cases. And it's like, oh, no, now, now it's dark. And now we're in the cases, too. Thank God they're in there. And we're out here. And we're in there. And they're in here with them. And... <laughs> And then they can't move their bodies. No, the sheriff. And uh, Cone's the sheriff and he punches Ichiko until he wakes up. And then they all go, the mist in there must have contained some hallucinogen. And then they wander out. And I really wish I was dead. Anyways, they wander into a room. Uh, there's a giant hole in the ground. It appears archaeozoic. They run into the red string at the beginning and they realize, oh, we really are looping. So they just pull the string to pull Cone to back where they are. And uh, then they start wandering again. Udiu pulls out a giant drink container out of Cone's stomach. It's kind of funny. Ichigo and Renji argue. Udiu figures it out while they're arguing and walking in different directions. Uh, and then he goes, okay, here we're going to go. I'm going to risk myself. And then he starts running. And then the, they run into the archaeozoic big hole room where the floor falls out again. Mm -hmm. But Uyu just keeps running, and it's, a, it's, it's an illusion. It's not a real archaeozoic big hole. This is one of those fake archaeozoic big holes. So he keeps running, and he runs across the room, and uh, they escape in. Oh, my God. They, they, they found the blonde girl, and she explains that he solved the puzzle, and it was a very good episode, actually. The ninja appears and tries to grab Uyu, but Uyu shoves the pass uh, into the ninja, and a soul candy pops out of his mouth, and they're mod souls, it turns out. And... Uh, the others, uh, the top hat dude uh, grabs the soul candy and they flee and, and Orihime and chatter outside and I wish they could write and uh, they flee through the demon door after they give the cast their weapons back and <sighs> and no one can catch them because they're just so fast and cool they're and they're, so, they're definitely really cool. They're so fast and so cool and uh, anyways, there's a soul they there's a female soul reaper association. It's apparently a shadow organization. It's influential in how the soul society is mm -hmm. run. It's run by Yachiru. <laughs> Dan, make note, this will be important forever. It will actually. The, yeah, this was the only important thing to happen this episode. I knew that the second it happened. Any of these episodes. The, uh, yes. That's true. Oh my God. I fucking hate this episode of Chugging Vinegar. Um, <laughs> episode 67. Guys, that last episode seemed dire, but this one has my least amount of notes. It's about a third of a page. I've got one note for 67. Okay. Among Us. Yeah, so it's really unfair to watch this intro before these episodes. I'm I'm starting to get really mad. <laughs> they arrive at school, and then the blonde girl says, Among Us, and they're like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the best episode, I'm going to be honest. Uh, yeah, one of your friends is an imposter. If you don't find them in time, all of your friends at school will disappear. Wow, that sounds a lot like very similar to something in another Shonen series. I don't know what Almost you're talking exactly about. Almost exactly the same thing, in fact. Yeah, just for smart people this time. This is Surely it will not be resolved in almost the exact same way. <laughs> yeah, surely I, not. I remember hitting that part in uh, Yu Yu going, oh man, what, a, what, a, what, a, what, a, this is clearly kind of fillery, but it still feels really good. And I'm going to give this like a seven. And then I hit it here and I'm like, you are getting nowhere near that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like the most incompetent version of that ever. I think it's the same animation studio. Oh, it is, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my fucking it, god. Yeah. I, I might I wonder Euro, if the same I director. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anyways, Kago shows up and he makes a horse sound. It was so unreal we cackled, <laughs> rolled it back, and played it again. Yuri Lonethal going, Wee! <laughs> and it was it was it was really something. Uh, I wrote this is a really terrible version of the territories from Yu Yu Hakusho. This sucks so fucking bad. Ichigo yells at Renji to take it off in the hallway because they get sent into the hallway for arguing in the middle of class because Renji busts into the middle of class and everyone in class is hearing him yell at him to take it off and the girls are blushing. It's very funny. Mm. 
we cut to Totsky in the girls' bathroom, and she says, man, we need more girls' bathrooms. Director's note said out loud. Spooky lights start <laughs> happening, uh, and then she's like, oh, these lights are spooky. I should leave after investigating the toilet. I don't know. I'm going to run, and oh, no, and she gets jumped in the in the hall. Uh, we cut to the Soul Society. They go, close the gate. No one gets to the world of the living. And then other Makoto uh, runs off. I mean, soy phone runs off. And uh, th- we cut back to uh, we cut back to uh, them standing outside the students and uh, their PD class, the, the, the blonde girl. I, I feel like that's not relevant, okay. but uh, the blonde girl goes, hey, hey 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 and orihime is like what and she's like i took one of your friends and she's like no and runs into the school <laughs> and finds the exact hallway that has tatsuki's uh sweatband and then orihime is sad <clears throat> stupid bullshit yeah none of it matters we cut to the last 10 minutes we as in me i just cut out a chunk of this episode thank you we cut out we cut to the last 10 minutes yorichi and soy phone start charging at the room where our main cast is trying to figure out who is among us and um among us. uh the, by running at them they, they they scare chad it was stupid chad wouldn't get scared yeah, Chad wouldn't get scared. Yeah, not even once. No, nope. not at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, I just looked it up. Yes, same director. Fuck. Same director who directed all of Bleach, directed all of Yu Yu. You gotta be kidding yeah. me, man! Come on. Yeah, you gotta do that. That's bad. He Anyways. also directed every single Bleach OVA and movie. Yeah, that checks out. I mean, it's the same studio. And that uh, studio was also churning up Naruto at the exact same time. So as they realize, Chad's the fake Chad. Um. He turns back into the top hat guy and he's like, I, I did a really good job of impersonating him. And they're like, no, you didn't. You're a pussy. And he just stares at them. <laughs> <laughs> but no one catches him. That would resolve anything. Yeah. Then they go, hey, by the way, did you notice that that was a fake Chad? We have Chad again. And I start screaming internally. And then the ending plays. <laughs> <laughs> we cut to a post credits thing, which makes yes. me even more upset. No, these are great. These are the best parts okay, of the episode. Okay, are. fine. Okay, fine. This one is good. I mistook it for a scene that happens in the next episode. Uh, oh, shit. What is what is his name? Fan favorite Ice Dragon. Man. Uh, Itsugaya. Itsugaya goes, why are you closing the gate to the real world? And the other person goes, because Yorichi told me stuff was happening there. Anyway, here are some snacks. Here's some snacks because you're eight years old. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was pretty good. We cut to the last episode, episode sixty-eight. I'm, I'm, my patience is gone. Good. <laughs> uh, there are fireworks when I start paying attention to the episode, and a note saying you have thirty seconds to destroy the gate. The 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 gate shows up. The skeleton door. Yeah. They go. It's too huge to be real. It has to be another halluc- hallucination. And I go, what? Rerin which is apparently the blonde girl's name. I had to look this up. Uh, her cloth is covered in a reishi residue because part of her cloth was cut off, I guess, and it's just sitting on the ground. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, and I'm not going to worry about it. It seems to be her okay. cloth. But we're okay, not gonna hurry up. Soul Society. Oh, no, no, that's uh, that's Soifon finding a some mysterious missing clothing. Like It looks like someone just turned to dust in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, thought, like, oh, it has reishi residue. I, I thought it's that part was of the part thing of that's actually clothing. going okay. to matter. Yes, I, yes. I, I get that. I get that. I just use the same color as Raven's clothing, so we're not going to wear it. Soul Society. They're analyzing data. A chick with fucked up hair because she doesn't know how hair bands work, and a weird eyeball cranked motherfucker who's green are looking at the data and go, it has to be entered wrong. This analysis is weird. I forgot this is how we got introduced to the science team. Uh, yeah, yeah. I finally felt like I woke up when they fucking went back here. We cut the rear and rear and has uh, Urahara's hat. The demon door starts sucking everyone in. Ichigo is going to blow up the door. They yell he can't use his bankai or the entire town will be destroyed. Please pay attention to that. He cannot use his bankai or the entire town. Yeah, the, his bonkai, be which is highly like energy, like 
highly consolidated. Highly precise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like he makes him super fast and not blow and, up. And quick. precise, so yes. he can block a million tiny little blades coming from every direction. But it, you know, the the entire town will be destroyed. So they go. Oh through no, the door. Ichigo! I found the script, and it says if you use your bonkai, the city will be destroyed. Damn. <laughs> okay. They go through the door. Chad is on a giant stake in an hourglass that doesn't have enough sand to actually drown him, but that's the conceit. (laughs) We have to trust the words instead of the visuals. They only have five minutes to save him. Top Hat becomes a fake Ichigo. He, for one one dialogue exchange, pretends like he's Ichigo. Past that, he stops. Then is evil Ichigo. (laughs) He's just just evil Ichigo. It's so stupid. He transforms... It transforms a sword yes. to somehow fight Ichigo? Uh-huh. This makes no sense. This is really dumb. Uh, we cut to... <laughs> yeah, it's almost like this is bad. Uh, no. The top hat dude, uh, yes. Uh, the top hat dude <laughs> does that fight with Ichigo, and we cut from him to the ninja who's using a really bad energy ball that makes me think of the intro to Dawn of Sorrow, Jesus Christ. But anyways, it's a portal, so it's it's completely different. Soifan and Yorichi are shown running. They end up at the train yard for Final Fantasy VII Remake, but there's a creepy lady with a <laughs> finger gauntlet who's going to uh, uh, have her way with some guy. Mm. She stops it, and then they go, why are you stopping two consenting adults? And I'm like, mm. Ugh, this is... Mm. Yorichi mm. turns human, so that way the ratings go up. <laughs> uh, this weird, creepy lady uh, escapes real quick, uh, and then Soifan goes, should we chase her? And Yorichi says, No. She looks really skilled at running away. Yeah, the two <laughs> we cannot progress the cannot. plot yet. We are f- what is it like the Flash g- Lightning Flash God is her title. Mm-hmm. She's like, no, I don't feel like it. <laughs> You're supposed to be the I, two. I, I, you you popularized Flash Step. Yeah, even better. She your says power that line. is nothing personal, kid. The. the she says that line, right? Uh-huh. And then immediately afterwards uh, implies that she met that person before. And it's like, you just said that she appears good at running away, but then you're like, also, I know them. And I'm like, even these two sentences don't sound like they're written with the same thought in mind. Look, they have to leave it open for the writers to do whatever they want. Speaking of which, uh, <laughs> the next line uh, we cut to the Soul Society, the investigations are done. Unseal the doors. Hyphen the writers. <laughs> Everything is terrible, animated terribly. Ichigo uses his bakai or tries, and then the hourglass breaks. Ropes come loose on Chad. Urahara was behind everything. Surprised O-Face. Yeah, he wrote that. Most of the time we spent playing checkers is what Chad says about the time he spent in the hourglass. I don't know what that means. He was clearly tied up. No, no. no, I guess that's before the hourglass. Yeah, when he got captured fully for the for the third time yeah or something you know when he would yeah this is the worst uh literally the worst it's ever been oh no yorichi was doing an investigation no that's my whole note um yorichi was doing an investigation that has everyone really concerned i have no idea what's up with that but that's actually what's up is what urahara says Uh uh-huh urahara explains that uh he's gonna train ichigo Uh, by the way yoru doesn't have any powers and then, where, where, and then the most it, important thing in this entire set of episodes cr- transpires. Yeah, uh, then Uryu starts explaining uh, he doesn't have any powers, and I swear to God, feel, I swear to you, they stole note for note the love theme for Final Fantasy IV. It just starts playing, and I lose it. He, he stops it. I don't it. remember. He stops it, plays the track. They are the exact same note for note. It's... It, no, this isn't gum commercial. Yeah, no, this isn't like this is clearly inspired by or this is based on a, a public domain song. It is note for note the love theme from Final Fantasy IV. <laughs> yeah, this is not like when he said Thousand Chips Delicious during a Balan soundtrack. Yeah, no, that was me shit posting. <laughs> this is real and I fucking lost it. And I was like, because well, he stopped and he wasn't like vocalizing his issue so i'm like yeah he already uh, lost his powers because he was too he went too hard (laughs) and then he plays that track yeah it's literally the same fucking song it fucking kills me i'm like you gotta be kidding right now how do you how do you steal the whole thing how do you you, how do you not change it at all (laughs) 
do you not have a new idea for it? Anyway, I'm going to post that timestamp for feel for later. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll post it in the description. Who knows? Probably, yeah, probably not. Th th these are edited by Casey, so I won't remember unless Casey reminds me. Yeah. Anyway, after I calm down from them just playing a Final Fantasy IV theme. Yes. <sighs> Yorichi shows up. She's talking to uh, Urahara and she goes, I have something to tell you. The intruder is a bount. <gasps> now, I had only one note for episode 68. The bount. My only note reads, <laughs> I already looked it up. Thank God Bount is actually starting after this episode. <laughs> See, it's funny because while I was trying to look up Ririn, uh, they were like, you're in the Bount arc. And I'm like, there's no way there are 30 episodes of this. <laughs> <laughs> you, you asked us. You're, well, at one point, you're like, yeah, I, was, I was also very scared of that because I, I don't know anything about the bleach filler. Yeah. Uh, Dan at one point asks, Bob. Is this just the rest of Bleach? Like, is all of Bleach <laughs> just like this? And we're like, no, no. And oh. then you see the preview for the next episode, and you're like, wow, that looks better than anything we just saw. Yeah. <laughs> There's a fight that actually happened. Yeah, they have visuals, and I'm like, oh, that's that's cool. Oh, are those puppets from the ending actually in the show? Oh, that's neat. Anyways, we're doing a post-credit thing. Soy phone, since she, her and Yoruichi are in the real world, <laughs> tries to give Yoruichi uh, chocolate, but then Yoruichi turns into a cat and says, chocolate, no thanks, and then leaps away, and Soy phone's sad. Cucked once again. <laughs> there you go. There's your summary. I spent too long. Bob, it's your show again. Okay. <laughs> well, we got to review that new, op or sorry, new ending we got. I'm very excited that that was the best part of the set of episodes. Mm -hmm. Give it a Give it some some level of a score. Uh, I'm gonna go first. Uh, okay. I think this is a pretty good ending. Uh, I'll give it an eight. Like I like the song. I think that the the, the little dances these puppets do is neat. Uh, it gives me any hope that this is not horrible. <laughs> mm. uh, how about you, KZ? Uh, as soon as it started playing, I'm like, this is the one of the outros that uh, I remember the most. And I like it a decent bit. I'm giving it an eight. I think the song was good, and I think the animations for it were were nice. Like I enjoyed that. Uh, Dan, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight. I actually enjoyed this ending quite a lot, and not just in the in the grand in the grand scheme of anime, not just if for Bleach. I I enjoyed this a, a lot. There mm -hmm. are some neat visuals. I enjoy the good dance, character designs, and uh, the music. I I think it delivers on all aspects that you can want, and it's good enough to make me upset that it has to associate with the fucking episodes that ran before it. <laughs> uh, how about you, Phil? Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight. I think this is a pretty uh, strong. Like it has. I feel like it is almost like the um, quintessential anime ending, despite only being like an eight. Uh, like, yeah. it has the perfect energy. Uh-huh. <laughs> it, it shows you pictures of other characters that haven't shown up yet. It's relatively catchy. Uh-huh. You don't want to turn it off. We were running the Blu-ray, so we heard the previous outro again, and I'm like, God, thank God. <laughs> thank God we're out. I, I forgot. I, I've I've forgotten everything about every ending other than No I No But uh <laughs> Yeah yeah that's the that's the one that was heavily interlaced. <laughs> yeah, that one was uh real rough, if not just for the interlace. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh I, I, man. I like this outro animates. That's yeah. important. That's and there's important. fun animations going on. Oh yeah, yeah, they're really fun animations. It's good stuff. I am <laughs> I am stunned how fast it's like, okay, it's filler. Money at zero. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's incredible how much it cranked down. Um, but, you know, we have another very important segment coming up. Best dressed. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a very important segment of me posting more faces from these episodes I didn't get to post while I was uh, summarizing them. Here you go, Feel. Uh, KZ, oh, no. I've now posted it so you can you can use the blonde chick's face to post clearly you don't clearly own an air fryer. Clearly you don't own an air fryer. <laughs> Mark the file. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God, there's Ichigo with his eyes. Yeah, his, Ichigo's <laughs> eyes would never be right in this whole set of episodes. It's real bad. Ta <laughs> Dan, be like, tag yourself. I'm Ichigo whenever I wake up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! What are we? Uh, what's the important I, I, segment? It's uh, best dressed. Oh. You, you want to go first, feel? You can go ahead. 
Okay, uh, I'm gonna give it to Rearin. Damn it! Because <laughs> she's the only character of these new characters that I think has even approaching a good design. Yes. And seemingly they agree because she's the main focus of the ending. I mean, yeah, y you're you're right. There's a reason she reminds me of a Pokemon trainer because uh, she has a good design. Pokemon. I think Pokemon it's funny that you brought up designs. the Pokemon that you brought up the Pokemon trainer because because the dude with the top hat is just like the divorced dad version of the new rival from the Sword and Shield DLC. See, I wasn't even <laughs> thinking of that, oh but you're totally god. on the money. Oh my god! I just he is. like you know how they have archetypal rival or enemies you'll fight like on a hillside, and some of them will be really into magic. And I was like, yeah, this could have been one of those guys. <laughs> this dude uses an Abra and a slow broke. I, I look at her and I'm like. Yes, you will be the Elite Four member that uses psychic Pokemon. Yeah, I was like, I, I was torn. I was like, is she dark? Is she dark or ghost? I feel see, like she's see, a dark or fairy. fairy. I say yeah. fairy. But see, like she drops a Sylveon on you and kills you. For a while there, I was pushing the narrative she was a third gen, so I couldn't think fairy because, you know, that wasn't there at that time. Uh, I was like, she's either third or fifth. She's just somewhere in this swath. <sighs> Remember good Pokemon? Anyways, what are we actually talking about? Oh, best dressed, right. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can go, Dan. Oh, shit. Do you need me to move along and make some something later? Um, uh, I got I one. No, don't go. I need to go, but I need to think. Oh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and go with... Uh, um, oh, my God. Good old flashbacks to the original gamer premonition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that the you, look, Rearin's the only thing that registered on the fucking radar. Um, so we're gonna go with Chad. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, let me scroll up. What was he wearing again? A school uniform. Okay. Uh, well, uh -oh. remember when they ended up at school, but they weren't in the school uniforms? Uh huh. What was he wearing? Uh, he was hey, wearing that hey, outfit. Hey, I wasn't going. I was going to be nice, KZ, and say you don't need to tell me what he's wearing, and I will just believe it. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> You know, you're right. <laughs> I mean, to to be honest, uh, I did at one point in the episode see his outfit for that exact episode where he goes outside of his school uniform and went, oh, that's a nice outfit. This will be a good fallback if somebody takes rear in. <laughs> Problem is, I can't really describe it, but we're not going to worry about that. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Mine's really good. Yo, go for it, Casey. Uh, okay. During, uh, during the ending, uh, Ichigo wears a black shirt. It's pretty good. Uh, Dan, during the episode, says, that's a cool black shirt. Probably use this for best dress. I think that was Bob. Was that you, Bob? Yeah, yeah. I was pointing out yeah. during the ending. They're like, yeah, don't, don't, nobody misses this. Don't leave this on the floor. Yeah, I Ichigo know. is wearing a black shirt. Bob's it's like, look at these scraps. Time. Uh, look at these scraps. Uh, uh, yes, I decided to use that because using the other two um, mod souls would be embarrassing. <laughs> yes. All right, it's my turn. Okay. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to give it to Renji and his Kakaider looking outfit. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. He's You're got not... bell bottoms. I like it. Uh huh. You're not wrong. See. I wish I could remember why I wrote in my notes at some point Renji becomes Duke Nukem. I have no idea why I wrote that or what it could possibly be referring to. Can you extrapolate okay. what episode it happened in? Can you like... It, mu it must have been in the first half. Yeah, I have no idea. So, no, okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess I have to watch them again. Maybe no. it was him... Taking the the food like after helping it because he didn't care what they were saying, and but then, but he, then did he stopped. Care. No. Yeah. Oh man, it would no. have been something very specific. I'll have to go find out what the stupid thing maybe made during the maze. Right it's like I'm gonna kick their ass. Yes, that was it. it that was one hundred percent. It was something it. like that. <laughs> well, good. Okay, feel. Can you give me a piece of insane trivia for this? <laughs> sure. Uh. The original concept for Bleach was called Snipe, and the villains were humans wielding a variety of guns. No. <laughs> Bob? No. Dan? No. You're all wrong, that's true. God damn it. <laughs> God I, damn I have it. the back of my head, like, you know, this is gonna be the true one. I I'm like this the protagonist was Rukia with a scythe, and the humans were villains with guns, and it was called Snipe. Huh. Oh. Uh, 
I, I wonder if that shows up somewhere in zombie power. I just don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've finally come here. Okay. The end. We get to rate this on our tightness scale. So w- zero to twenty-five. Uh huh. Can be any numbers in between. Yeah, we could get a hundred. Yeah, we could get a hundred. We aren't getting that this time. Yeah, we're definitely not. No, I'm sorry. No, no way. Um. Uh, let's see. Dan, you can go ahead and go first. Let me uh, let me bring up their, our previous score so I know what we're looking at. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, Bob, will you again for the uh, audience explain the full scale? <laughs> it, it goes zero to twenty-five. Zero. Yeah, zero. Zero. Uh huh. No, well, that's my score. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I I always have to leave let, Rome. Let me put. Yeah. Let me. Yeah. For yeah. people who might be confused. Mm-hmm. Let me explain. The live action movie is better than this. It got four. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Dan's such a fool not giving room. What are you talking about? This is flatlined. I can't be any more dead. No, no, no. You're so. N- Dan. Never in your Dan, in we any could, content have you been more wrong. Never. We can get to the point where we've had four episodes of chugging bleach of nothing happening to this level. I mean, here's the thing. Other, prior episodes of chugging bleach have had nothing nothing happen like the plot went nowhere for multiple episodes straight and it hurt this wasn't the plot went nowhere there was no plot yeah i know <laughs> I, yeah I there, still, there I are still, worse I, versions of this they can all get zeros i'm that generous oh wow hey all, all right i don't know casey gave the live action movie a zero yeah because it wasn't bleach <laughs> hey guess what buddy <laughs> Yeah, no, awesome. this was bleach. All right, KZ, what do you sure. score this? <laughs> uh, I I remember some of the worst parts of this because they stick in my memory. Uh, eight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. That's I need to give now. as much room as possible. Also, there are some parts that I of this that I thought were funny and enjoyed that weren't just animation errors. So I was like, ah, whatever. But it's still the worst thing we've seen that's real bleach. All right, I'll go next. I'm giving this a five. Because I feel like there is room to go down, but not that much. Yes. This is this is very near to the bottom. But there were a few parts that made me happy in this. And some of those animation errors are really funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that Ichigo again. <laughs> in the, L- Liren um, making the sicko face is very good. <laughs> okay, that, that, get, that got it two points. Um, what about you, Feel? How do you feel about these? I'm going to give this a five because there was any joy even in like the in just in the way of that's a character design that I can look at and say that's a design. There's only one of those, but <laughs> there will eventually come to the we will eventually get to the point. I'm sure where the filler where some filler arc is like, here's our villains. They all look worse than the guys from Dawn of Sorrow. Oh, yeah. No, that's uh, I know which arc that is. <laughs> I, I also know which wait there's like two <laughs> <laughs> okay we did it we you, scored you know what really helped what's you, that you know what helped me not give this a zero what's what? that if we didn't have multiple episodes straight of run around in circles literally uh y- you know yeah yeah we might reach a point where i want to give something a zero and you'll give it a one and then i'll be confused what are you talking about you already gave something a zero on the live action movie yeah i mean actual bleach though uh but that was named bleach it had various bleach characters Uh, that was we have bleach at home (laughs) you know many of those characters acted more like themselves in the movie than they did here Hmm. dan bob forgot to ask you the most important question how excited are you to continue watching Bleach? <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how to gauge this, right? Because it's clear they're breaking off from everything we just watched. Uh, yes, you saw right. that preview. There was actually action in it. I'm kind of scared, though. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. So I'm not going to say I'm excited uh, because I'm actually kind of scared right now. Because <laughs> yeah. if they did this, so let me put it this way. They've killed before. They might kill again. You're right. They yeah, will it's... kill again, but who knows when? Ugh, yeah, it's, uh, That's troubling. But hey, you know what? There's a little bit of excitement. I'm going to register this as a little excited, and here's why. Okay. In that next time on, I saw one of the paper dolls or whatever it is from the ending in the episode. I was like, ah, that's cool. Yeah. I get to see what's up with that. 
So there you go. A little bit of excitement, just like a, a pinch. Yeah, a bit of anticipation. Just a little bit, like a little pinch on top. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Everyone go home. Nope. I'm home. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. Shows like Mondo Cool and Chugging Bleach are only possible thanks to our wonderful supporters over on Patreon. If you head on over to patreon.com slash gbpodcasts and pledge at the $5 or above level, you not only get early access to Chugging Bleach and Mondo Cool before they're released to the public, but you'll also gain access to exclusive shows like Armchair Debs Extra and Curse Content by Committee. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you guys next time. This month's Giga Boots executive producers are Esme, E. Lee Broyles, Star Falcon, Spaceman Spiff, Red Blaze 27, Brendan O'Sullivan, Dobo Muito Real, Ace Gundam Pilot Adam Admar, Cooper Tank, Zilter, and Virmvarn. Thank you very much to our executive producers. And also these gamers. If you want to be a gamer or ascend to God Kinghood, then head on over to patreon.com slash gigaboots today.